Man, that's a boat. Yacht, whatever they call it. That's nice. It's hard to think sometimes that I will ever have anything nice like that because, not because I can't afford it or obtain it, but because um, I always give stuff away or look for people in need. Just like this place where I've come to um, do my morning glory, get my word in today. Um, I realize there's some homeless people who pretty much stay around here. I guess they sleep wherever they can, then they get up. They get up and they come in here and they, uh, they hang out here all day, I guess. Either fish or get food. But um, anyway, I have to come and get my morning word. And um, it's awesome. I mean, it's amazing what getting out of your, your normal comfort zone would do to help you see things in a different perspective. So many times we put God in a box, not on purpose, but because of the lifestyle and the way we're living. Job, family, kids, husband, wife, whatever the case, whatever our circumstances are. A lot of times we box ourselves into those type of situations and circumstances where life is day-to-day -day and mundane seeming. But it's not until we have to experience or do something different that we realize that God is bigger than our set of circumstances or the box we put him in. So often the people are forced into different circumstances because of sickness, disease, divorce, death, all kinds of things will force people. But when you can step out on faith and allow God to show you things without being forced, I believe it's a little bit different and how he speaks to you. Anyway, that's not even what I'm on in scripture, but I'd like to share my experiences for my kids, grandkids, um, family and friends, anybody who may be see, see this stuff and get inspired by it. You know, um, it's what it's all about. It's about inspiration, correction, rebuke. Anything that'll make you a better person. Yeah. Yeah. All these folks like fishing for fish, trying to catch me a man, a soul, win somebody to Jesus Christ. They got right off to the beach after this. Still on the beach after I meditate on this word I'm studying on. Still in Ezekiel. Two scriptures in particular. I'm trying to get direction on what it is God desires for me to do here on this assignment. But anyway, I pray wherever you are, whatever the temperature is where you are, that you it's a blessing just to be alive and to have another day is a blessing. Uh, I'm enjoying this 80 degree blessing. <laughs> but uh, it is, at any rate, it's a blessing no matter what. If you're in 80 degrees or you're in 40, 50, 60, 20, whatever the case may be, either way it goes, it's a blessing. You can't take life for granted, not one second. Enjoy your day.